It's been 90 days since I purchased any new tack. You deserve a medal! Thank you! Now today, I'm going to show you what to do with all those stir irons that you've collected over the years. And that we're going to show you how to make them into some classy bookends and a soap dish holder and even an organizer for your mail in your office. But first I want you to research online for a local granite fabricator. Now a fabricator is a company that makes a template for your granite, marble, or stone a, a countertops. And what they do is cut it out to fit your kitchen or wherever you're placing your slab. And once you've found them, then I want you to pay them a, a visit. And you're going to go in and put on your best, I'm a hoarder, help me face. I mean, you could try a face like this, kind of like, or one like this. Okay, but whatever face you think is going to work, go in and look pathetic. Okay, and you, or what you can do too is you just go in and ask them very sweetly if they, if you could let them, uh, if you, not you, if they can let you do some dumpster diving for their leftover chunks of granite that they've accumulated from their projects, okay? And all fabricators have a dumpster that's filled with pieces that have broken off during the cutting process. Well, similar to this, okay? This is a great little piece that I dumpster dove for. Now, if you're really nice to them when you get in there and you've already shown them your I'm a hoarder, help me face, then maybe you could bring them some cookies or Cupcakes will work too, either one. And you could ask them very nicely if they would cut the edges for you. This is if they really like you, okay? And see how we, they liked me because they cut all the edges. But anyway, you could ask them if they would cut the edges for you. But even if they don't cut the edges and they just say, okay, you can go in and take some of our raw broken chunks, then what you will do is wind up with something as pretty as this. Now make sure when you go that you bring your stirrup iron with you because then you can actually measure what size you're looking for of chunks that will fit on here, okay? Then after you do this, I want you to take a second and I want you to be proud of yourself. Pat yourself on the back, okay? One, it's probably the first time you ever went dumpster diving and two, you're on the road to recovery. You've just come up with another use for some of that tack. Okay, and now the fun part, for the bookends. You're gonna take the irons and use the silicone glue to adhere them, okay, to the stone. And wherever you put them, make sure that once you put that on the stone, push down hard and hold it in place. And then let it dry for at least 24 hours. Because, see, the silicone will make it very slippery, and you don't want that to move once you get it in place, okay? Then, if you wanted to do it for a larger size coffee table uh, size books, you can actually silicone two pieces of granite together, and then have your syrup iron siliconed on top. Again, wait the 24 hours, okay? The next thing we're going to show you is how to make a syrup organizer for your mail. So what you will do is take your two syrup irons, all right, and like this, fancy schmancy here, and we're going to take some mail, which I have lots of, and put them in the middle of here, and then you have them right there. There you go. You have something to organize your desk. And um, if you're like me, your mail has a mind of its own. So it winds up in the craziest places in your house, like not even in your house, it's all over your car. So hopefully this is going to help you. All right? Next and last is our soap holder. Now, hold on, we're going to show you how to do the soap holder. The soap holder is done like this. Okay, now if you want to take and take your two stirrup irons, you can get a pretty piece of marble like this one. 
Can you see that right there? And what we're going to do, if after riding all day and you had such a great ride, and you want to come home and carry those memories right into your shower when you're taking a shower, this is a great way to do it. So you just take, again, all you're going to do is put your silicone in the place that you want, and then there you go. You've got this really great use of your stir irons with this beautiful piece of marble. I hope you like our latest home decor ideas on how to bring your love of horses home. And we'd love to hear from you with any ideas you'd like to share with us. 